Hello, my love pies. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to have you, seriously. I have been a little bit nervous about being all by myself here on the internet. Um, I feel like that person at a party that goes, like the party is packed, but I have nobody that I went with, so like I feel a little awkward jumping in. But it's cool. I'm here. I'm Gabby of Make Your Perfect. I'm an artist who paints portraits of women in their vaginas so that we can uncoach the feminine and harness our radical authenticity. This is the space where we talk about all of those things that women crave discussing but don't know how to bring up. A few brief notes. We are all adults here, and I use the adult words sometimes. So if there are some little love pies hanging around you while you watch this, you might want to put on some headphones. Oh, and yeah, I'm painting a vagina. I'm all about not only normalizing, but celebrating this body part as the center of creativity, intuition, and pleasure. Feminine energy is located in the pelvic area. You don't need to have specific body parts to harness it, but... I paint portraits of vaginas because they serve as a reminder to look at the parts of you that need your love and attention, to truly believe your inner wisdom, and to be loved, accepted, and celebrated as yourself. In today's episode, I'll be talking about what is wrong with this vagina. Stick around until the end for the answer. So the other day when I was painting this, my husband walks into the room and so um i have it on a large monitor on my desk right that is what i use where i post the the photo for a reference um so my husband walks in and um don't worry this is just a sample piece i was working on so anything that is a client's vagina i do that work in private and i do not let my husband in the room or anyone else but anyway so when he walks in and looks at it he goes All right, let me think of how he said it. He was like, ugh. Yeah, just like that. Ugh. (laughs) So, like, I was like, what? He is a heterosexual male. I expect him to celebrate my vagina. He claims that he celebrates it when we're getting intimate. And so... I was, like, taken aback that he had this reaction when he saw one on my computer screen. And I said so. I was like, what do you mean, uh? And he's like, uh. And I was like, you know, this is exactly the problem. This is why women have, you know, sensitivity to this body part. This is why we tuck it away and hide it in shame. Like, because this is what we get. We feel like all our lives, someone has said, uh, about our vagina, you know, about the way it looks, about the way it smells, about it existing, close your legs. I talked about that in one of my other podcasts. So, you know, I go off on like a rant and he's like, well, is it yours? And I was like, no. And he's like, so there you go. No problems then. So then I told him I was obviously going to have to talk about this in the podcast and he could go continue about his day because I would take care of it. (laughs) So I've been thinking about this because I do. I feel like the response to the vagina is often, ugh, like the smell, the sliminess, the way it looks people often have that reaction, right? Like we see it on movies. I don't know. My husband obviously has that reaction. And I was thinking, so like close-ups of any body part are pretty jarring. Um, You know, like even if you walked in and saw a close-up of like a nose on the computer, you would probably honestly, a, a nose more than anything, you'd probably be like, ugh. Like if, do you ever see the If you ever follow a piercer on Instagram, the pictures of the nose piercings, there are, you see a lot of pores. That's all I'm going to say. A lot of pores, a lot of blackheads, and it is a little bit, uh. But still, even that is like, that is just our bodies. I also have some 
some minimal middle school trauma from being made fun of for my blackhead. So there's that. Maybe this is just me. Anyway, so my husband actually, just so you know, he claimed that it was a shocked expression to see a pussy so big on my screen and that he said the expression was more like, oh, but it wasn't. It was a definite, definite, ugh. Um, like, it was distinctly the sound you make when you see a slug. So, yeah, so that is how I felt about my vagina for most of my life, I think. Like, it was a weird slug. But the other thing is, like, I was also secretly enthralled with it. Like, when I was pregnant, I noticed that it was, like, really red. And... I asked my midwife about it. And then she was like, how do you know this? And I'm like, what are you talking about? How do I know this? Because I check it out. And then she acted like that was weird. And this is coming from a woman who checks out vaginas all day long. So I felt weird for looking at it. I still feel weird for looking at vaginas all day long. And I wonder, now I wonder if my midwife does too. So the thing is, when we can look at our own pussies and see the beauty in them, then I think we can see the other beauty within us, the stuff that we don't always consider beautiful, maybe like our blackheads. You know, there is stuff that we sometimes hate ourselves for that is directly related to our femininity, like our emotions and our vulnerability. And we're already so busy hating ourselves so much of the time that like, what if we can make the part of ourselves that maybe we've hated the most and stuffed so far down into the shadows that we've forgotten about it, maybe we can make it something beautiful in our eyes and then we can accept the rest of ourselves too. So that's all I have to say for today. If you are wondering what is wrong with this vagina, the answer is nothing. <laughs> um, although it is upside down. So there's nothing wrong with an upside down vagina though. But if you had to pick something, that's what it would be. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you loved that and thought that was funny or sparked something in you, or maybe it brought some tears please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because I am going to be talking about stuff like this a whole lot more. I appreciate you for listening. I see you. I hear you. And I love you. Mwah.